uh, I, I, I guess, you know, I kind of get where monkeys, whatever the fuck we were. But like, well, let's think about this, right? When, when two people have a kid, it looks like them, right? I guess. That person's slightly different to every other human on earth. So yeah, then you keep repeating like, it over and over first, again. How did like the first human or monkey, whatever the fuck, get on the planet? You know what I mean? So like, it, it started with microbes. Like, you know, bacteria, right? Little bacteria. Like, you know, have you ever seen the amoebas like yeah. rolling around on a microscope? So like they started forming and then they got like, eventually they got like bigger cell walls, like because if to like stop other bacteria from like swallowing them and shit, they got bigger cell walls. Like to go like like an armored hide kind of thing, but like on a bacteria level, and then like you know they like the ones with the stronger outside would survive, and the ones with the the sloppy jelly outside would die, right? So only the hard ones are left now. So now they're different. So now the the ones with the hard shell survived, and then you know the different changes would happen now. Like you got like little uh, ones that like over billions of years this would happen, uh, and like new new like shapes would form, like. You get like a pincer, like a little needle that can suck, like pincer into other bacteria and suck it dry and like kill it and drink its nutrients. And then like those ones are really good. So they survive and everyone that doesn't have a pincer, like a needle nose would die because it's not good enough. And only the ones with the needle nose are left now. And this keeps going over and over and over again for billions of years. Like that's a really fucking long time, right? And eventually you've got ones that are like uh, complex multi-cell organisms that are like multiple cells that like all work together and then they form a bigger animal now you've got these multi-cell bacteria all right and then only the multi-cell bacteria are left because all the ones that weren't multi-cell was shit so they died so only the multi-cell ones are left now right so then they kept going blah 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 they kept going and then uh eventually they got bigger and bigger and bigger and all the multi-cell like formed together to make bigger animals and bigger animals and then eventually it became like a tadpole kind of shit like you got tadpoles forming now and like and all kinds of stuff like that and then, you know, fucking they survived and suddenly all the bacteria, they're just fucking, they can even still be there, but they're just irrelevant now, right? Now only the tadpoles are fucking like the king of the jungle, right? So now they go around, fucking they get bigger and bigger and the bigger the animal, the more it survives. So now the bigger animals are surviving. The old tadpoles are fucking dead now because they were shit. Now only the bigger animals survive. And that's how it becomes, it keeps, keeps going, right? And then eventually the tadpoles like grow legs and um, like just... Out of nowhere, you get a mutation which, like, the fin somehow is good at moving on, like, mud, right? So you got this fish that has a fin that just happens to be able to swim around and, like, go up to the mud and then, like, walk and, like, flip around on the mud. And then because it can do that, it's like it can get away from predators. So it goes on as a predator, it swims away, gets in the mud, and, like, fucking flops around on the mud and gets away from the predator. So it doesn't die. And all the ones that couldn't go on the mud... Now they're all dead because they couldn't get away from the predator. So only the ones that went on the mud are alive. Everyone that couldn't go on the mud died. So then fucking, now they're the only ones left. So now they're the one, fucking the fish that's in the sea, right? So now the fish are fucking, now all the fish in the fucking sea are going on the mud and shit like that. They're going on the mud. Now they start to fucking see the plant life, right? So they start eating, like, randomly over billions of years again, billions of years, randomly, one's born that can, like, chew on a leaf and it's like oh it can actually eat the leaf and it's so good that now it eats the leaf and it's like yeah only the ones that can eat the leaf can now survive because fucking eating leaves is so fucking good so then they fucking eat leaves and anyone that can't eat leaves now dies because everything that can't eat a leaf is now fucking shit right so now only the ones that <laughs> are, you, are you still here i'm back no <laughs> <You're> i'm <fucking. laughs> not listening okay so now only the ones that can eat leaves are there. So like they fucking eat leaves, they go on the mud. Now that now they're walking around because, you know, you've got to like eventually only the ones that can walk well survive. And everyone that can't walk well fucking dies. Because now other creatures have come on the land too. So you've got to run faster than them. So only the ones that can run the fastest survive. And then the ones that run shit, they die. So they don't even exist anymore. They're all dead. So now you've only got these animals with legs left. So now eventually the animals stop even going in the sea. They've just got legs. They don't even have fins anymore because they don't need them. Anything that has fins is like it's a waste of energy. They're shit, so they all died. So now these things with legs are left, right? Now the ones with legs, they go around fucking, they're eating leaves because that's so good for them. You know, they're fucking, now, 
you know, they go walk around, now they eat animals, because eating an animal is, like, fucking really good. They fucking, only the ones that eat animals are left, because fucking, you know, that's so good. And if you can't eat an animal, then you fucking die, because all the leaves fucking died one day, and now you're gone. So one day all the fucking leaves died or something, like an asteroid killed them all, and all the ones that needed leaves, they all fucking died, because there's no leaves anymore. So now only the animals that can eat other animals survive. That's the only ones left now. So then, fucking, they evolve, you know, now they fucking get better eyes, because only the ones with the best eyes would survive, all the ones with shit eyes would die. Uh, now they get bigger legs, fucking stronger legs, they get, like, different shapes, all kinds of different designs, like, fucking, this all happens randomly. You get shit designs, too, but they just die. That's the reason we don't have shit designs, because the ones that shit die, right? So now only the best designs, like, not designs, like, fucking random mutations survive. And then you fucking, you got things with like fucking two legs, four legs, arms and shit. They're all like going all over the place, fucking random mutations, like a baby with six fingers, right? That's like the same thing, a baby with six fingers, right? Six fingers might be really good. So maybe in the future, humans will have six fingers, right? So anyway, the point is, you get to that point, now fucking you get apes and monkeys and shit. Then eventually, billions, millions and billions of years later, monkeys just adapt like they get the hair is like a detriment because it's too hot on the planet so you need to monkeys with less hair are better right because otherwise they're too hot and they don't sweat properly and they they fucking die of heat stroke right and then the ones without fur they fucking have sweat so now they're really good they survive right so they're only dead left now all the monkeys are the fucking hair they're, they're all fucking dead except for some which are really good for one area so they survive they just sit there they're fine but maybe in the future they'll all die we don't know Right? And now only the ones without hair are fucking surviving. And that's us. And then we get bigger brains, and then fucking the ones with the best brains fucking survive. Because they're the only ones that fucking get away from the predators. If you have a big brain, you can get away from tigers. If you have a small brain, if you're fucking dumb, you die. So now all the ones with the dumb fucking brains are dead. All the ones with the good brains are real smart. And they fucking survive. And that's us. And that's how we fucking became uh, things. <laughs>